Guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. I just got a tweet just moments ago, uh, even though it was five days old, that my friends at One-Eyed Cat Breweries, Sour Puss was finally put onto Untapped. Um, last time I was over at their sort of now home base, homebrew based sort of operations. Uh, I got to shoot the bull with some of them over there. Uh, watched them brew a beer for the Buffalo Niagara uh, Brewer for the Invitational. And I got this uh, bottle here and it's the Sour Puss. And this is a sour stout. Clocks in at 8% ABV with 31 IBUs. And it was just, it was just so clever and just, I don't know why this isn't more commonplace, but anyway, it says uh, a base imperial stout, kettle soured with lactobacillus, uh, fruity sour up front, fades to a chocolate roast and dark malts, lingering raisinette flavor. Um, just, uh, I've been impressed by the whole operation, um, the attention to detail, the, the standard that they want to reach with whether it's the name whether it's the label whether it's production you know even little things like this waterproof labels wax dipping like you either have that sort of standard or you don't and they do and i'm so i'm really excited about seeing how these guys kind of transition from uh a, like a home-based operation to to uh like a retail space. This is a little on the old side and that's my own fault. That's not their fault. Woo! Finally, I got the sour, the sour puss on the video from One-Eyed Cat. Technically out of uh, East Amherst, Clarence area. If you're familiar with the, the transit road area, you know what I mean? Look at this thing. As uh, wonderful as a, a stout as you want, um, this, uh, you know, black motor oil really great black coffee look to it you know what i mean and it's got that sparse head to it um but it's it's tan and it's got these you know and it dissipates kind of quickly but like i said this is a little old yeah and it's got this really cool sort of mixture this it quaffs in this little um multi stout vibe with this kettle soured sort of fruitness and it's really cool and you almost don't know what to expect from a concoction like this because you don't run across beers like this very often you know so mm, smells a little on the sweet side um smells a little like like i said a little on the stouty side a little on that kettle sour and um yeah it smells all but awesome let me get that buffalo logo buffalo boom let's try this thing out it is just unique it is unique to the nth degree so you do, you get that, if you're a stout drinker, like I am, you get that real nice, very familiar walk down the path to a stout. And right as, you know, you're, you're kind of drinking it, it's in your sinuses, you're smelling it as you're drinking it. But as quickly as you get the stout sensation, you get this really great, vibrant fruit sensation, sour fruit sensation. It's, it's really cool, it's really refreshing. Um, man, that sourness, uh, the sour, the salinity to it, that it really does really, it, it, it cuts off any sort of aftertaste, makes it very short and curt, and you're ready to keep drinking this concoction. It's awesome. All right, so let me see if I can better describe this. You've got this really um, short-lived, multi base to the stout a proper stout based base and then you get this uh it's a it's a fruity vibe you could do raspberries or like a raspberry cranberry sort of of kind of light and bright and um kind of sour 
sort of sour. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, even the aromas, the ar you still get um, maltiness from the stout, you still get sour notes from the sour. Man, it's really good. And I'll be wholly honest with you, this thing clocks in at 8%. You know what I mean? 8%. You know, I think a lot of these um, these kettle sours, uh, a lot of times they run in that, that higher 5 low 6%. But you throw in this 8% ABV with something that's this easily drinkable, and you could be calling yourself an Uber before the end of the night. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I get ever so uh, slight notes of like uh, like a chocolatey slash coffee aftertaste, um, but it's just got a, a little sour tang to it. There's there's not really a whole lot of fruit on my aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say this is actually a, a lighter bodied sort of beer for it being heavy on the ABV, it's not heavy on the body, which is another one of those things, you know, that just makes it easy to drink. The, the style of the beer, the, the body of it, um, kind of that refreshing um, tang to the sour. These, it makes it all but dangerous. Really, really, really. Imagine getting this in like a four pack. Imagine going into like, Premier Gourmet and getting this in a four pack. Yes, please. Uh, I'd be there all day long. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, this beer is not going to be hard beer to finish. Uh, please, right? So I, uh, you know, from uh, a pure beer drinker uh, to these guys really uh, putting themselves out there and experimenting in their basement, I wish them nothing but the best of luck. Um, and if we get any progress on, um, you know, uh, signs of a retail space I would uh, love to pass that news along to you and uh, like I said we wish them nothing but the best of luck and uh, we know that Buffalo will be there to support them it's Buffalo so have a great one guys I'll see you guys in the next one cheers